Hey, we're on the biggest nerd. This is Age of Wonders Planetfall. Our destination is a small planet located we're doing the, uh, the tutorial. Is showing nothing but static from the research output. And if it's uh, stress call we received remains the only If it's really, really, really basic and boring, we're just gonna skip it, and you're not even gonna see this. So it's not a problem. If it's okay, then it's okay. I haven't played this game before. It came out today, a couple of hours ago. Today is when uh, Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday, <clears throat> Tuesday yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start. It's not for me to question their motives. We're here to secure a foothold, search for any survivors, and investigate what happened. Prepare for planet fall. Hey, prepare for planet fall. So we're just gonna start it. I don't know. I played Age of Wonders 3 for a few hours, but that's a long time ago. A long time ago. This is also kind of a tech. Uh, try out, I'm, I'm recording in 1080p ex uh, instead of 1440p, and it, it seems like some Your strange Standard issue lag. Looks, looks good, looks fine, it's okay. My messages will appear when important actions it's a tutorial, by the way. If you're here to watch incredible, high-level new strategies and tactics, how the fuck would you get that? The game came out a couple hours ago. This is the first time I started it. What the fuck, dude? If you wanna see a person learn a game really, really quickly, <laughs> then yeah, it's me. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, good, there's no time to waste. We we'll start by setting up and expanding this colony, start a surface scan for survivors and existing colony infrastructure, inform me when our research systems are aligned. This is a nice, if you haven't played the game before and you're interested, I feel like this is a nice, nice way of, of getting to know the game. You know? You, you get to learn with me, and that's what I enjoy. If I'm playing a game that I know really, really well, then you should you should be able to learn from what I'm doing, because I'm either gonna explain it or do it really slow, because I'm an idiot. Ha! Yes, Commander. Recalibrating sensors, initiating surface scan, dot dot dot, ellipses. The biodome has been located nearby, but there are no signs of survivors. Continue scanning the planet's surface. If there are any survivors on this world, I would know about it. I'll scan the adjacent sectors and investigate the biodome. It should contain supplies that will help us expand our colony. That's the voice I'm gonna do for him. For like uh, 500 episodes forward. <clears throat> Select your army and explore a nearby sector located in the Segeta Overgrown Biodome. I haven't explained what the game is about because I don't really know. It's let's say civilization but different <laughs> like it's it's it, what, what, what do they, they call it hexagonal gameplay i don't fucking know say uh, explore an by sector okay so i i control him this is an army, army N no that's a man his name is jack and are used to explore the world attack enemy army attack enemy army in different colors. all right yeah yeah selecting a unit's portrait in the army panel below will display its abilities I'm probably gonna talk a lot, because that's what I do. I'll try not to overdo it. I'll, I'll try to be quiet every once in a while. To move an army, select it. You know what? The... Just gonna do that. Huh. You know? He just wants me to move and I'm gonna go this way, right? And... Oh, you can only move so far. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you go backwards? Colony production facilities are currently idle, Commander. I recommend we start with building the central replicator facility. Diamond, to increase production, I've highlighted the structure in the colony this interface. Is a colony interface. It allows you to inspect and control your settlements on this planet. Mm -hmm. The tabs at the top left. You play civilization. Production and colonist it looks familiar, population. at least. The number of colonies and sectors that are part of the colony are listed at the top. As well as strength of the colony Under militia. Colony's name, you can see the amount of each resource this colony generates. A description and a breakdown mm, of the mm, colony's mm. income can be found in the tooltips of each resource. This is the tooltip. Thank you. We're gonna learn and learn by doing. <coughs> wow. From here to <coughs> new units. Gold hasn't gone away completely, apparently. Can't do the the old man mafia with some structures have an energy upkeep that is paid each turn. Build central replicator facility. Produce. Structures can be built in a colony by selecting the produce option. The produce option. The production queue. Uh -huh. When something is added to the production queue, the energy and cost might cost. 
That's just money? It's rare material origination beyond the void. Required for advanced units needed module. Okay. Uh, it's paid immediately and the production cost is subtracted at the end of each turn based on the colonist's production income. Okay. Uh, sh should I do something else? Establish colony. When all suggested actions from the task notifier are <laughs> have been handled, the option will automatically change to end turn. Ending the turn will prevent you from taking any further actions okay, until okay. your next turn, unless you are attacked. No, it's it's the the problem I have with the game f uh, five minutes in. <clears throat> it's not a, it's it's not the game's fault. It's that it looks so similar to Civilization, while also being. Alien was the word I was going to use. It did not intend for that pun, but it happened anyway. Uh, different, you know? It's the same, but different. The task which makes me really... Not uneasy, but... You know, it's you, you want to zoom through it. like if, if you've played Civilization for like a couple of hundred hour, hours, you start a turn, you start a game, and it, it just goes on autopilot. Our labor laboratories have come online and research is now available. We can begin researching technologies and luck new deployments to help us on this planet. Excellent. What do you suggest we start with, considering our mission parameters? For military research, it is recommended to start with nanite support to provide our troops with extra production and, and luck battlefield support operations. For society research, it is recommended to start with frontier facilities to unlock basic infrastructure upgrades for a colony. I think. Let's Welcome go frontier. Center, so much reading! This is the reading episode. Reading Rainbow. And search for new frontiers. That two tracks can be researched in parallel? Not at once, apparently. Uh, probably. Probably. Military research concerns you. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to read that, I gave you ample time. Ample time. And military operations. Racial research includes all of that race units and locks, including defensive mods, weapon technologies, and locks. I wanted to. Research <laughs> Jesus. I'm not. I'm not frustrated. Doctrine research concerns governmental policies. You know what? I'm gonna see that when I'm doing it. If you wanted to read that, well, you know, go back five seconds. Uh, frontier facilities. Right? Can't do both. Or can I? You can. <laughs> or can you? Yes. <laughs> Just that you can click it. Several times. Several times. Okay. Confirm movement. You there, sir. Please <clears throat> attack the 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 praying mantis. There are no survivors here. It looks like the structure was overrun by critters. So we must reclaim this biodome and exit support uh, sector. I'm sorry to our colony. This will expand our domain and increase our supplies. We do not have enough colonists to control additional sectors yet, Commander. You're not strong enough. For no, you're not strong enough for my most powerful potion. I don't know. We will need additional food to allow the colony to grow. Larger colonies can sustain more province sectors. I want to slap. I want to stop. No more talking. All right. No more reading. No more talking. I can do that, right? Manual combat. Is that a thing? Ah, uh, this is very different from Civilization. Ah. The defending army always gets to act first, followed by the attackers. That's, that's nice to know. Tactical operations can be launched during combat as support, although they are disabled during the first turn. <clears throat> during a combat turn, mm -hmm. each mm -hmm. unit has three action points to spend on using their ability. No matter what, which can cost apparently. Between one and three action points. Regardless of cost, using an ability always ends the unit's turn. Every unit also has move points. 
also has move points. And using these move points will leave a unit with fewer action points to spend the tactical movement colors on the ground. Indicate how many action points the unit will have left after moving there. The red overlay on the ground means the unit will be left with no action points Commanders after movement. Commanders and heroes are some of the strongest units in any army capable of wielding a variety Can't lose them. of powerful weapons and even we'll return to their vehicles. headquarters. They level up as they gain experience, allowing them to unlock I like uh, games blocks. with hero units. Ever since Warcraft 3, always enjoyed it. That means I can shoot him apparently. Is this is this uh, can I can I click it? Yes, you can. He spits. Is that range? A friendly mm. unit has moved into cover. Mm -hmm. Cover protects the unit by making it harder for enemies to hit them with a. Everyone knows what cover does. If you don't, well, that's not really my fault, is it? Can I just fire? You have an unlimited amount of uh, grenades. Yeah, but you can't really throw that far, can you? Uh, let's do Overwatch instead. You, you, Overwatch means that you you fire if uh, if uh, if the bad guys come in. Uh, Each unit has active abilities that they can use during combat. What is it called? Range, <laughs> which increases the unit's defense <clears throat> until the start of their next turn. Guard abilities always cost one action point. Try moving your units forward to form a gun line to command. Form a gun there line? Are several nearby obstacles that your vanguard troopers can take cover behind. Each this unit has didn't active abilities. say anything about vanguard. No, try moving your units forward. Vanguard troopers have. Oh, command. it says there. There are several nearby obstacles that your vanguard troopers can take cover behind. you there and you, you you can't overwatch is there some way to undo a move or something no just just to do that lightly obscured let's do that then and then uh, Overwatch it. <clears throat> this is too far. <laughs> can I see the amount they can move? Right, so basically you can attack uh, no matter what. Alright. Good to know. Just, just getting, getting used to the the controls. I'm just getting used to the controls. It'll flow smoother after a, a couple episodes. Don't you worry. It'll get better. No operation research. All right, that's that's something else. Hey, t she talked about it. Most abilities that are used on enemy units have an accuracy. It's like XCOM. Which is the chance that the you got civilization in XCOM in one. Target. Grazed, which means it did damage, but not as much it, as it could, <clears throat> possibly. See, that was full damage. Twice, twice. I'm not complaining. Sweet, why, why is he <laughs> moving like that? What what are you doing? Sixty eighty five. Let's try it. Enemy Sweet. neutralized. Yeah it is. Enemy eliminated. Eliminated. Our forces are victorious. Hooray! Don't need to sound that happy, Jack Elder. <laughs> Our forces are victorious. 
Yeehaw! Our colony has now grown big enough to support an additional sector. I recommend annexing the sector which contains the biodome, as this will add its food income to our colony. Good. We'll annex the sector to our colony as a province sector, so we can start exploiting the land for resources as soon as possible. Take reward, which is 93... F food? Yeah, it, it says so <laughs> over on the right. Objective complete. Yeehaw. Take reward. Expand the colony by annexing the nearby sector. Did I? Ah, oh, okay. You just click. You just click it. You just click the name. Valuable remnants of the Star Union. Sectors can be settled with colonizers mm. or annexed as provinces to existing colonies by interacting with the central sector uh, worker. The sector analysis panel on the right shows an analysis of its features in any locations present there. Actions available to take within the sector are listed in the bottom panel. Requires army, so I gotta move. Move my dude. Build forward base. Let's not project. Domain and does not allow you to gather income from the sector, but it provides vision and serves as an obstacle for your en enemies. Vanguard colony. I'm guessing I'm gonna go through these later. Sectors usually have both a climb and a terrain climb. to determine their economic potential. In addition, uh, sectors can contain locations such as resource nodes, visit sites, and hazards. Which can add the economic or strategic value to the sector. To make your colonies thrive, sectors need to be annexed to colony centers. This turns them into province sectors that add income to their parent colony. Right, 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 right. right. Further developed. Through experience, you will learn how to optimize sector choices and colony upgrades. For now, pick any habitable sector adjacent to your starting colony, move an arm into its sector center, and annex it. You there. Go there. And. Annex sector. Surface scan completed, Commander. I am picking up a Vanguard military signal nearby. This could signify the presence of survivors on the planet. Bring it up on scanners. Let's find out what the hell is going on here. Familiar signals. Locate the Vanguard military signal in the nearby sector. So I'm guessing I don't. The currently I, okay. selected colony tab is unit production. I can prove units available for construction are listed here. Can I produce units at the same time as I'm producing buildings? Uh, I'm guessing new. No. The sector production tab lists the structures that can be built in any of the province sectors of the colony. All right. The colonist tab lists details of the colony's growth and happiness. All right. That's fine. Do I want to build something? Didn't really lose any units though, right? Stardew Wilderness. So I'm I'm guessing I just wanna go This way, right? Marauder faction? <clears throat> Out of move points, can I move that? Nope. Uh, and turn. You Got nothing else to do. The sector. Yay! Now be exploited for one of the main I enjoy places. exploiting things. Ideally, the chosen exploitation type matches, matches the, the terrain, terrain and climb. Of the sector for future leveling potential. You can set an exploitation via an exploitation via the colony center interface in the sector production tab. The higher the level of the sector, the more that can be gained from it through exploitation. Outer sector has been exploited, and a specialization can be built in it to further increase the sector's economic benefit. Conduct research to unlock sector specialization. Shh. Commander, there's a lot of reading! That sector has been successfully annexed to our colony and is now considered a province sector. It can now be exploited for additional resources. Let's get this exploitation up and running as soon as possible. What does terrain analysis tell us? How can we best exploit? It's fungal, fertile, biodome. And we want it for agriculture. You just click that. Produce. That's a production. So if I click... Uh, uh, 
All right, yeah. The unit's Objective manager complete. interface shows you mod <laughs> under your control. Mod templates? Thank you. Can I modify them? Jesus Christ, there's so much to do! Including their active and passive abilities in the list on the left side. Units can have different roles in combat. Core units are scouts, skirmishers are damage dealers, specialists are support, elite are either or, just really good. Mods allow you to improve your units later in the game and allow you to adapt your arsenal to ever evolving threats. Should have the camera up for this. <laughs> I think I'm making a lot of faces. Does it cost anything? Yeah, it costs 10 whatever and 5 whatever. Ten production. Let's wait. Yeah. Let us wait. Am I done researching? I should be. Let's just, let's just keep going. I'm I'm going for this since the the the, um, the sector I I am ex currently exploiting is uh, agriculture, which should level it up, right? Yeah, and we don't have any aquatics or anything. Uh, do, 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 do. Is this firearms? That's a uh, that's a mod. All right. And that's a tactical operation. Tier 1 hero equipment. There's a lot of mods here. There's a lot of things to do in this game. It seems like. I'm actually not, a, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, reactive face protections. This seems good. Let's go for that. All right. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna end it here. Uh, this has been episode zero, basically, of uh, me the biggest shirt. I don't think I said it at the beginning. Um, playing uh, Age of Wonders Planetfall. I think I'm gonna enjoy this game. Not sure yet. Haven't really done a lot. Events listed. Sector annex. Shut up. <laughs> I'm talking. Uh, but but I think it's gonna just take off. I'm gonna list this at, as episode zero, and then episode one is come gonna come out at the same time. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna add a little gonna add a little thing in the description that says it. Otherwise, uh, you you gotta watch the video to to know what the video is about. I don't know yet. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time, which should be you know very soon. Mm, goodbye for now.